Hello, 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 maker friends. How are y'all doing this morning? I want to say a big thank you for hanging out with me today over here at a maker studio. For those of you who may not know me, my name is Carrie, and I have a YouTube channel called Mama Dare City DIY. I do fun and easy, but super creative stuff. So if that's the kind of stuff you're into, you can head over there after our live this morning and check that out. Y'all, I've got a brand new stencil that Amy has created for us, and it is just in time for the holidays, and I know you are going to love it as much as I do. Do you love making homemade gifts or homemade ornaments? If you do, then this stencil is going to be right up your alley because it is right up mine. Are you ready to see it? Y'all, this stencil is called Jingle All The Way. We've got so many cute phrases and I'll give you a couple of ideas for some other things as we're doing our project today that you could use these round stencils for. My head is just bursting with possibilities of things that I can do with this stencil. Do you have any that come to your mind? If you do, I would love to know that down in those comments below. Don't forget to let me know, are you watching me live today or are you catching me on a replay? And also let me know where you're joining me from. I myself live in sunny Florida. If you can, cannot probably tell by the beautiful sunshine that is coming through my window today. Y'all, I'm so ready to start on these Christmas crafts because the weather is cooling off a little bit and I'm totally in the mood. So are you ready to get started? Let's hop on our workspace now. Okay, makers, here's our workspace and I'll give you just a little bit closer look at all of the wonderful pieces to this stencil. And if you're just now joining us, this new stencil is called Jingle All The Way. Isn't it super cute? I love all of the different fonts. I'm such a font girl. I'll also go over really quickly the pieces from a maker studio that we're going to be using today. I've got some of our chalk art colors in Heavens to Betsy. It's a turquoise color, so pretty. I've also got some Love Bug. I've also got some I Reckon, and I don't think I'm actually going to be using this, but I pulled it out just in case. And I've also got Preaching to the Choir. Also in the gel art ink, I'm going to be using this metallic gold. And look how pretty and rich that is. Oh, I love this color gold. And before we hopped on today, I did go ahead and paint one of my pieces in ballet white from our Amy Howard at Home One Step Paint Samples. You can also get these on the Maker Studio website as well. So I've got some little wood cutouts here. You can buy these little wood round ornaments either at Michael's. A lot of times you can find them at Walmart. I cut these myself on my laser. Um, so they are a little bit thicker than the ones that you can get at the store, but you can still do this same project with the ones you can find in the stores. Okay, so I'm also gonna be using my scraper, and this is actually a piece of the scraper that I cut off because we do have some little bit smaller pieces that we're gonna be working on. And I like to use the scraper, our plastic scraper, versus using the big squeegees for smaller pieces like this. So let's take our stencil out of its package. Have y'all ever used the mesh stencils before? I love Amy's mesh stencils. If you're not familiar with them, I'll show you really quickly how they work. So they're coming on a sheet like this. And look at this. It's not like any other stencil that you've ever used before probably because these all stay together. If you've used vinyl in the past, you know you have to weed the vinyl and then you have to pick apart all the little pieces. And y'all, that is such a pain. With our tri-mesh stencils, you don't have to do that. Everything stays together nice and neatly and this one stencil can be used over and over again. So I'm gonna, just gonna cut out the pieces that I'm gonna be using today. I wanna give you three different looks out of this one stencil. So let's see, I'm gonna do, it's the most wonderful time of the year. I'm also gonna do Merry Christmas, y'all. And then let's see what other one I want to do. Let's do Peace on Earth. When you open up your stencil, you're going to notice 
that it has a piece of cardboard backing in here. You want to hang on to this backing. I like to leave it inside my package. That way when I get through with my stencils, I can just wash them really good, get all the paint out of it, and then we're going to dry them face up, and then we're going to put them back on the backing that was here, and then we're going to just keep them all together by putting them right back in our package. Okay. So I am going to go ahead and put the rest of this stencil because I know y'all don't want to watch me cut these apart on camera today. We've got way too many other fun things we're going to do besides cut apart stencils. Okay, so like I said earlier, I did go ahead and paint one of our ornaments ahead of time with our One Stout Paint in Ballet White. I just want to trim this one a little bit. I think if it's in our round circle, it might be easier to line up. And I admit, I'm not very good at taking the time to line things up. It's not really that big a deal to me. I just gotta eyeball things. Y'all, when we are crafting and creating and having fun, we don't need to pressure ourselves with having everything perfect. As long as you're having fun and you're loving what you're making, that is the main thing. Okay, so I've got three different looks here. I've got sort of a fun and funky look. That's what I'm gonna use my turquoise and my red for. I think I'm gonna make this one say it's the most wonderful time of the year. My piece on earth, I'm gonna put it on this stained piece of wood. And I actually used some of our Amy Howard gel stain earlier. And I used the pine and I also used the weathered gray. And that sort of created this really pretty rustic look. So I'm gonna pair that with some gold. Isn't that gonna be pretty? And if I had time, I would definitely do this in two steps, but I'm afraid I'm gonna run out of time and I won't have time to let it dry. But off camera, I'm probably gonna go back and put one of our wreaths around the outside of our piece on earth just to sort of dress this up a little bit more. And I actually might do that in silver. And then last but not least, our Merry Christmas, y'all. I'm gonna do this on our black and white buffalo plaid. Let's go ahead and start with this one. One thing you need to remember when you're working with our mesh stencils, you wanna make sure that you burnish in that stencil really, really well. And by burnishing in, I'm just meaning you wanna rub it. You really wanna rub this in and you wanna make sure that you get everything pressed down really, really well so that you don't get any bleeds. I'm gonna go in with my love bug color for this one. And look how pretty this is. Because I'm using chalk art today, I will need to put a spray sealer on these just so that they won't, so the chalk art won't come off. If you want to, you could also go in with the gel art inks or even some of the one stealth paints and you, you won't have to seal that. But because I did not have a red in any of those mediums, I'm just gonna go in with my chalk art. And y'all look how simple this is. If I wanted to, I could definitely do this in two colors. It would be pretty to do this in the black and the red. But I love the contrast of black and white buffalo plaid with this really pretty bright red. What kind of theme do you do for Christmas? Do you do sort of that farmhouse look? Because I do live at the beach, I do a lot of beachy sort of Christmas decorations. But honestly, I don't really have one particular theme. I love all things Christmas. Now, if you are a little bit hesitant or you're a little bit nervous, you can definitely put some masking tape around the edge if you're afraid you're gonna get this on another part of your base that you don't want it to be. Then you can definitely do that. I did sort of trim this one 
to the edge. Look how stinking cute that is. So I'll give this just a second to dry, but I'm gonna go ahead while I'm waiting and I'm gonna drop this down into my water so that my chalk art does not dry. And then once it's all washed out, I will go back and I'll shake and put this back on my backing so I can use it again. So before I wash out the red or the love bug color, I want to go ahead and do this one. Let's see. I did stain this side too, but I think I just want to do this on the natural. Let's see if I can get this centered up. That looks pretty good. And again, we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're just going to burnish this in. I want to do this in my Heavens to Betsy and also the Love Bug. So this is going to be very, 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 very carefully done. And there's no pressure like doing it on live, is it? <laughs> the good thing is... You know what, it's gonna be beautiful even if it's not perfect. So I just wanna use the red in the part that says wonderful. This would also be really pretty to do all of it in our Heavens to Betsy, but I just wanted to give you an option of what it would look like if you used more than one color. And do you see why now, why I like to use the scraper that's been cut? Because you can really get down into those tiny little pieces. You wanna be sure you're pressing really, really hard, or not hard, I guess, but more firm, so that all your paint or your chalk art is going down into that stencil. If you're not pressing hard, then it's definitely not going to penetrate that stencil and you're not going to get the look that you want. Can y'all hear the jets flying overhead today? They are super active today. Okay. So now I'll just wipe off the excess and put my top back on here. And honestly, I'm not even going to wash this off. I'm just gonna take one of my paper towels and I'm just gonna wipe it off. And then I'll flip it over and use this side. What are you working on? Are you working on Christmas crafts? Are you working on decorations? Let me know. My daughter has started crocheting, so she is really making a lot of Christmas gifts with her beautiful crochet stuff. Okay. Make sure we get everything covered and pressed in really, really well. Now we'll do the same thing with this bottom piece. Turquoise and red are two of my favorite colors. I know it's a little bit untraditional but I love it. I do a lot of gingerbread decorations in my kitchen, and this is the color combination that I use. 
And actually this one, I'm not gonna use it as an ornament. I'm gonna glue a magnet onto the back of it. And I'm gonna use this as a magnet to put on my refrigerator. Just make sure I get all of this covered. Now let's pick it up. So cute. And again, we're going to put this down into our water. So I'm just going to put both of these to the side so they can dry. And now let's work on our piece on earth. I love this color combination. It's just sort of a natural, sort of rustic. And when I pair it with the gold, I think that's just gonna give it a really nice contrast. Let's get this centered up as best I can. And again, burnish it in. And I'll just wipe off my chalk art from this end. Might even get a little bit of water on it just to make sure that it's really nice and clean. And for our metallic gold, I'll just put a little bit from the tube straight on here. I hope that my gold is bright enough to show up on this rustic wood. I didn't try it ahead of time, so I'm not for sure. And if it's not, that's why I actually brought out my, I reckon from the chalk art, just in case this doesn't work. Or I guess not, you can't see it as well as you want to. But I do love this metallic gold. And I think that shows up pretty good. And it's gonna be a little bit darker once it dries. So honestly, I think it's gonna be okay. And again, I'm gonna drop this down into my water. Okay, so let's put our top back on this one. Let's go back and make sure that all of this is dry. And y'all, we're ready to start putting these ornaments together. I did go ahead before we got started today and I put my white cord through the back of this. I'll just put just a little bit of glue, just so it doesn't go anywhere. And now, look at this. All we've got to do is put just a little bit of hot glue on the top. And that's done. Isn't that a super cute ornament? So simple, but think about using this even as a gift tag. You can put this on your package if you had some like even if you just did the plain brown paper, craft paper, if you use this as your gift tag, that would be something that's super cute and it would still give you a farmhouse feel. So now we'll use our It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year. This would also have been super cute if I had painted this white, but I didn't. Looks like there's a little bit of glare from my ring light on this, but it is totally okay. I use just a little bit of my hot glue on the top. And this is just a piece of, I think it was actually from the Dollar Tree. It was just a little piece of Christmas tree. I think that was something you're supposed to tie up your Christmas tree with. And I 
really want to put my hot glue on the outside edge because I want my bow to go on the top. And I'll put my bow right here. It's so cute. That is going to be a really cute magnet on my refrigerator. And the magnets that I'm going to be using for that, these came from, I think, Dollar General. Dollar General has really expanded their craft section, and they do have a lot of really neat craft pieces. These already have the adhesive on the back, so all we've got to do is just flip it over and stick it on. And now this is ready to hang on to my refrigerator. Looks like it's not quite even, so let me just give this a little trim. Now, isn't that adorable? You could even do the same thing with all of these if you wanted to turn all of these into magnets. Now this one, I'm gonna use this really pretty wired ribbon that I think came from Michaels. Can you see that? I know it's a little bit of a glare. I think that's really, really pretty. So I'll just tie the top of this one up. And I think I wanna leave the top like this. I'll go back in and put my bow right here. And that's it. And again, you can either use this as an ornament or a gift tag. If you wanted to use it as a gift tag, you just put your to and from onto the back here. What do y'all think about our projects? Do you love them? Which one is your favorite? Honestly, I love this. Merry Christmas, y'all. Okay, y'all, what do you think? Which one is your favorite? Do you love our magnet that says, it's the most wonderful time of the year? Is it the Merry Christmas, y'all, little gift tag slash ornament? Or is it the beautiful rustic piece on earth? Y'all, I love the fact that these can be used as either Christmas ornaments, you can use them as gift tags, or you can even put magnets on the back of them and you can give them a, as a gift or you can use them for yourself. I would love to know what your thoughts are with this jingle on the way stencil. What would you want to make with it? And don't forget, if you want to win this stencil for your very own, all you've got to do is to share the video and tag three of your friends. That's all we've got time for today, my friends. I want to thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. Until next time, happy DIYing, y'all.